Learn and play online. Today we are going to learn about units of measurement that we can use when measuring length and distance. When measuring the length of an object or the distance between two locations, we use formal units of measurement. In this video, we are going to use the metric system, which includes millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Why is it important that we learn about formal units of measurement? For example, if you had a backyard and you wanted to install a swimming pool, you would need to know the measurements of the yard and the pool to make sure the swimming pool would fit nicely so that it wouldn't be too big or too small. If we're talking about measuring distance, knowing how near or far another location is to you might help determine how you get there, either by walking if it is close enough or if it is too far away, you might choose to travel by car. The smallest unit of measurement in the metric system are millimeters. The abbreviated form, which is the shortened version, is mm. The most familiar tool that we use to measure length using millimeters is a ruler. As previously mentioned, millimeters are the smallest unit of measurement. So the tiny little lines that you can see on the ruler are millimeters. Let's zoom in closer so we can have a better look. When using a ruler to measure, we always start at the number zero. Moving on to the next increment or line shows the one millimeter mark. The next line shows the two millimeter mark. The next is three millimeters and so on. Look at the mark where the arrow is pointing. How many millimeters is this? Six millimeters. Now let's try this one. How many millimeters is it at this point? Nine millimeters. Let's try one more. How many millimeters is showing at this point? Ten millimeters. That's right. There's something you may notice at this ten millimeter mark. It aligns with the number one. This is because the numbers showing at the bottom are indicators of centimeters. Centimeters is the next unit of measurement after millimeters. The abbreviation or shortened form of centimeters are the letters CM. And as you can see from the ruler, if you have a length of 10 millimeters, that is the same as one centimeter. So there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Now that you know just how small millimeters are in length, what everyday objects can you think of that we could measure using millimeters? You will have 30 seconds to make a list. Here are some of the objects that we came up with. Let's try and measure the sharpener and push pin in millimeters using the ruler. Remember, when measuring the length of an object, we must first line up the starting point with the number zero. And as you can see, the length of the sharpener is 18 millimeters. Now you try. How long is the push pin in millimeters? It's 23 millimeters long. Now let's move on to the next formal unit of measurement. After millimeters, you have centimeters. And as previously mentioned, the abbreviation for centimeters are the letters CM. To measure the length of an object in centimeters, you may still choose to use a ruler. If the object is too long for the ruler, a measuring tape would come in handy. That is because a standard school ruler goes up to 30 centimeters in length. Measuring tapes can reach hundreds of centimeters in length. To give you an idea, some objects that we can measure in centimeters include the length of pencils, shoes, chocolate bars, fish, and even your height. Here is a maths fact that you must try to remember about units of measurement when using the metric system. We already know that 10 millimeters is equal to one centimeter. 
Now, did you know that when you have 100 centimeters, that means that you have one meter? Meters are the next unit of measurement after centimeters. And the abbreviated form for meters is just the lowercase letter m on its own. And if 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, that means that 1000 millimeters is the same as one meter. Let's now explore meters. We have just learned that there are 100 centimeters in a meter. It is always best to try and apply such information to real life examples so you have a deeper understanding of the concept. If you can picture a guitar or a baseball bat, they are about a meter in length. Having a real life example in your head to help you visualize what a meter length looks like will help you answer the following question. What objects can you think of that you would measure using meters? You will have 30 seconds to make a list. Here are some of the objects that we came up with. We have now reached the last unit of measurement that we will explore, which are kilometers. The abbreviation for kilometers are the lowercase letters km. How many meters do you think are in a kilometer? There are 1000 meters in one kilometer. So if you can picture 1,000 guitars or 1,000 baseball bats lined up end to end, that would be about one kilometer. As you can now understand, we would only be using the unit of kilometers to measure super long objects such as the height of a mountain or long distances between locations. Let's recap the facts that we learned today. Millimeters are the smallest unit of measurement using the metric system. There are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. There are 100 centimeters in one meter or 1000 millimeters in a meter. And there are 1000 meters in a kilometer. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.